Alright, what is going on guys, City of Top Tweets and today I'm bringing you a new video and this is on another top 10 free iOS 8 compatible tweaks. Now guys, I'm bringing you a completely new top 10 tweaks here uh, than, last, uh, than a few days ago, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, but anyways, let's go on with it. Alright guys, so the first tweak that I'm going to be showing you guys today is called CC Settings for iOS 8. Now I did used to have this on iOS 7 and this is a really, really handy tweak that um, I'm always going to be using because it's just such a handy tweak to have. And basically what it allows you to do is have multiple things uh, above here on your control center and um, unfortunately it doesn't actually apply the option for down below there but I personally like it just four things down below there I don't like it anymore uh, I like it with just the simple things on the top here as you can see I've got a few more things here I've got uh, as you can see this kills all the background apps like so bring this back up this clears all the badges this reboots the device and this last one respring's the device um, showing you the settings now for it guys as you can see in here there's quite a few settings here I'm not really going to go into too much depth in the top four there you guys can probably figure that out for yourselves but you have the option to include uh, a lot of things here so I could have all these things on here as well if I wanted to uh, on multiple pages I just choose not to have these as I find them kind of pointless but nevertheless you guys could still have them on if you wanted to anyways the next one I'll be showing you is called speed changer now what this basically does, I don't know if you guys can be able to hear the audio uh, when I play this. Hopefully you will be able to. Um, so I'm just going to play any song else works I'm now playing. Okay, Adam song. Alright, so as you can see, the speed changer, you can change how quickly it plays back to you. So, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's actually currently playing slower and now it's playing quicker than it uh, normally would play back so if you guys want to listen to a song slightly slower or you just want to muck around a bit listen to how funny songs sound uh, slower or faster uh, it's a really great tweak, tweak especially as it is free and that is called speed changer now guys the third tweak is called volume notifier and all this simply does is make a, a small bleep so, uh, a bleep sound when you turn up or down the volume so I'm going to try and play this again don't know if you guys can hear this but here you go So yeah guys, it does make a small bleeping sound and it gets quieter as you go down and louder when you go up. So um, yeah, this this wasn't working for me at the, at the start, but I did a respring uh, and it started working for me. So if you need that guys, that will be what is wrong with it. But anyways, that is volume notifier. Alright, so guys, the fourth tweak here is called nested folders uh, for iOS 8. Now all this allows you to do is make folders inside of a folder. So as you can see here guys, I have a folder and inside of that folder I have another one. So all I simply did to drag to make that, sorry, was, where did I just put notes? I'm not too sure where that just went. Alright, so as you can see, it clearly is a bit buggy at the moment still. But you get the picture guys, as you can see. I drag it and drop it in there and it's made a new folder like so. See so yeah, guys, it is a, quite a bit buggy. Uh, my apps are disappearing and stuff at the moment. Hopefully a respring should fix that up uh, because I don't think it can actually delete notes off the system. But yeah guys, that is nested folders. Alright guys, so the fifth tweak is called No Slow Animations. Now, I did have this on, an on iOS 7 as well. But all this simply allows you to do is if you put the speed right to zero, there you go, there's no animation of when you're doing actions. Normally there, was there is one for the control center. Uh, not the control center, sorry, the task switcher, but I'm not sure why there isn't one at the moment on iOS 8. As you can see, there's no um, there's no animation from going to apps. And then there you go, that is the slowest. I like to have it around around 0 0.7. Uh, it's a nice speed to get around at. So yeah, guys, that is no slow animations. The sixth tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Snap More Text. Now, if I simply just take a picture here, as you can see, if I just type in a load of stuff, it allows you to go past the end there and send a, a long message uh, for as long as you actually like. So you can now send a lot longer messages on Snapchat to save you sending multiple Snapchats to people. Uh, it's just a really handy tweak and I've used that quite a lot uh, in the past. Now the seventh tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Data Carrier, a uh, date carrier even. I always say data carrier, I'm not sure why. But anyway, all it allows you to do is have the date as you can see up in the top left hand corner. Uh, and you have a few options, uh, so you can have it the months first, days first, months first with days and the years, or days first with the months and the years. Uh, I personally like the days and the months, 
just because sometimes I forget what day it is, and um, I'm not normally forgetting what year it is, so yeah, that's pretty much why I don't have the year on, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, so that is it for Data Carrier. Uh, the eighth tweak is called Dock Shift. Now, Dock Shift, clicking it here, what it allows you to do is change your iOS uh, 8 dock to a, a different kind of uh, look, so you can have a transparent, a load of milk glass options, a load of dark milk glass, and a load of blurry. As you can see, my, my dock down here is actually transparent if I just get off of that again it is transparent as you can see there is no backing bit uh, which I just think makes it look a whole lot nicer you can see a lot more of the wallpaper and uh, everything just looks a lot cleaner than it normally does so yeah guys that is a uh, dock shift uh, the ninth one I'm going to be showing you guys is called pull to respring and there's nothing to really edit in this all there is is a kill switch here and all you simply have to do is go to the top of settings pull pull all the way so as I'm pulling up and down the circle gets complete pull all the way to complete the circle and it will respring your device so it's quite handy after you've been messing around with stuff in the settings to just scroll up and pull down to respring so it can get really really handy guys uh, I've already used it quite a few times uh, already now the last week I'll be showing you guys is called eye cleaner now this has already been quite a few videos of people and I'm pretty sure I have reviewed this before but it is a really really good tweak and um, this is actually the free version I'm pretty sure there is a paid one as well what it gives you a warning here saying it is actually not officially supported on iOS 8 so there can be a few problems and it is to use at your own risk but if you do want to use it um, go ahead all you simply do is click clean it will say cleaning up please wait as it cleans up real quick here just give it a while I'm not sure how long this is going to take give it a few more seconds if it starts to take too long guys I'll just quit the app but hopefully things won't be too bad there we go so it's freed up 252 uh, and I think that's megabytes I'm not too sure but it's deleted 3200 I uh, know I don't want my device to respring. spring thank you <laughs> but yeah guys that is eye cleaner uh, so these are 10 really handy tweaks guys that I've just down, uh, downloaded recently on iOS 8 and I think that they'll benefit you guys uh, if this did video if this video did help you at all or you enjoyed it please leave a like 10 likes would be absolutely great guys in this video I'd really appreciate that Anyways, I'll see you next time. Peace.